In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate masses from the electrolysis of copper chloride. Electrolysis is a process by which ionic substances that have been dissolved in water or melted are decomposed, broken apart into simpler substances when an electric current is passed through them. For example, if you were to take molten copper chloride, it would be broken down into copper metal and chlorine gas. It's possible to calculate the mass of the copper produced from this electrolysis. There are two main ways that this can be done. At this stage, you should be aware of three key facts. Firstly, for any given substance, one mole of molecules is equivalent to the relative molecular mass of a substance in grams. Secondly, 24 decimeter cubed of a gas represents one mole, and thirdly, the number of electrons transferred during the electrolysis dictates the ratio between reactants and products. For this example, the electrolysis of molten copper chloride is shown as two half equations, one for the oxidation at the negative electrode and one for the reduction at the positive electrode. What do you notice about the number of electrons transferred in both reactions? Pause the video and resume when ready. There are two electrons being transferred in both processes. As a result, there is a one-to-one -one ratio between the copper and the chlorine gas. So for every one mole of copper produced, which is 63.5 grams, it produces one mole of chlorine gas, which can be thought of as either 24 decimeter cubed or 71 grams. Also, when these masses are combined, this represents the formula mass of one copper chloride unit at 134 grams. Here's a challenge for you. If we were to use half the number of moles of copper chloride, then A, what mass of copper would be produced, and B, what mass of chlorine would be produced. Pause the video and resume when ready. The answer is that because half of the mass of copper chloride was used, then half the mass of the copper is produced, that's 31.75 grams. Also, half the mass of chlorine gas is produced, so that's 35.5 grams, or 12 decimeter cubed. There is a second way of calculating the mass produced from electrolysis reactions. This involves the use of this formula, where Q is charge or number of electrons in coulombs, I is the current in amps, and T is the time in seconds. One mole of electrons has a charge of 96,500 coulombs, also known as a Faraday. Let's say that the mole copper chloride is electrolyzed using a current of two amps for one hour. Using this information, we can calculate the mass of copper produced. You might want to have a pencil and paper ready for the next part. Pause the video and continue when ready. Step 1. You can use the formula to work out the quantity of charge passed in the time given. Remember, there are 3,600 seconds in one hour. In other examples, you may have to convert to seconds. Try and work out the charge transferred now. It might make it easy if you write it out in full. Pause the video and check your work in an answer when ready. You should have got 7,200 coulombs. Step 2. Using the equation from before, you should recall that two moles of electrons are transferred. So, there is a relationship between the number of electrons transferred and the molar mass of copper metal, which is that for every two moles of electrons transferred, one mole of copper is produced at 63.5 grams per mole, its molar mass. Remember, 96,500 coulombs represented every one mole of electrons transferred. We next need to find the number of moles of electrons that were actually transferred in our reaction. This you can do by dividing the answer from step one by 96,500 coulombs. 
Do this now and resume the video to check your answer. You should have got 0.0746 moles of electrons. Remember though, there is a ratio of 2 to 1 electrons transferred to moles of copper metal produced in the reaction. So to find the actual moles of copper, you have to divide 0.0746 by 2, which is 0.037 moles. Now we know how many moles of copper we've used, and that one mole of copper has a mass of 63.5 grams, you can obtain the mass of copper produced. Try it now. Pause and then resume the video to check your answer. The answer is 2.37 grams. In summary, there are two ways you can calculate masses from electrolysis reactions. The first uses reacting masses and ratio. The second involves the use of the fact that one mole of electrons has a charge of 96,500 coulombs. Using this fact and the formula Q equals I times T, you can calculate the actual charge being transferred in a given time. Knowing this, and the molar mass of the element in question, allows you to use proportion, as shown from the example, to calculate the mass of any unknown from an electrolysis reaction.